been a sad, happy, proud day here at Fox 2. Longtime morning anchor Alan Lee saying goodbye as he leaves the anchor desk to pursue his other passion, writing. And Alan had this message for all of his fans. All you people out there, thank you so much for letting me in your household every day. That means so much to me. I, I heard a lot of you people say that it's like family, and that's exactly the way I feel. I may not know all of you, but we kind of know each other in a way. I'm never going to leave social media, so we're going to keep in contact that way. Right now, like I said, I think my social media is broke because I can't get back to everybody, all those messages on there. That's like I need an assistant today. So thank you so much, everybody. Guys, thank you. I applaud all of you guys. And thank you, Alan Lee. Fantastic, talent, amazing man, great friend, great co-worker. And you took the show on the road. I did. And what a, what a great topic because the people do know Alan Lee. They connect to him. And we went from Dearborn to Detroit to Southfield. Here's what they said about Alan Lee. Alan Lee is leaving. Are you yes. going to miss him? I know I'm going to miss him. I've watched him over the years. He's matured. I haven't. His morning shows are very interesting. He's been there a long time. 18 years. What do you want to say? Yeah, it's a long time. That's sad. Who's leaving? Alan Lee. Oh, why he's leaving? He wants to be a writer now. He wants to be a writer? Maybe he'll have a good book. Would you read that book? Yeah, because I would want to know his experience and why, would he, why, why is he following his dream of becoming a writer? I woke up to him every morning. What are you going to do now that there's no Alan Lee in the morning? I'm going to watch, but I'm going to be sad. He's a great anchor. Enthusiasm. He's very personable. I liked the way he used to talk to the financial woman in the morning. I can't remember I her name a, right now. He had a crush on well, her. Well, I, I thought it was pretty. <laughs> it seemed kind of like a mutual thing that they had going on. Don't yeah. tell his wife. No, He's no, 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 I know, I know. He pulled a prank on me. I kept telling him he looked familiar, and he kept smiling, saying, really? And then I figured it out after I left. I think it was the food that he always talked about. You're saying he uh, liked food? He liked food, but I commend him for losing the weight that he did. What food didn't Alan Lee like? <laughs> there was actually a lot of food that he did not like. <laughs> he wouldn't try, I should say. I'm going to miss him because he always brings something extra and added to the, to the newscast. So I look forward to him in the morning. Are you sad? I am. I'm sad when any of the newscasters leave because you get to know them. They're like family. Alan Lee might want those flowers. They're not for well, him, though. Look, I have one. Anybody who follows their passion is my hero. I love it. Good luck. I hope you have great success. It's Mayor Dearborn right there. Yeah. Everyone loves Alan Lee. They smile when they say Alan Lee, and everyone will miss him. A man of love, integrity, laughter. Best of luck, my friend, <laughs> and thanks for watching. That's it for this edition of Let It Rip. The Let It Rip discussion continues online. Sound off on Facebook, Twitter, or MyFoxDetroit.com.